Welcome, David. Thank you, Rob. The title of your new book is The Innovation Manual. You call it a manual. To me, a business book is uh, more theoretical and strategic, and the manual makes it sound like a hands-on guide to doing something. My primary motivation was to, to bring together the essential knowledge into one book to make it easier to get at the latest ideas, the latest theory, um, best practice from around the world. Uh, put that in one book, but that's not enough for a manager. Uh, the manager has to be able to translate the theory, which is typically quite general, into something they can do in their company tomorrow. I believe in your book you speak about uh, innovation itself. How has innovation evolved in recent years? What we used to think about of innovation is very much product innovation. Uh, and while that's still important, um, the changes in, in the last decade or so in business have um, been to emphasize more innovation in, in services, uh, often in combination with products, uh, but also in business models. Uh, and in many ways, the sort of secondary motivation for writing the book was to sort of say, well, okay, the world has changed. Uh, we need to sort of revisit what we understand and sort of say, how, does it still apply? What needs to be changed when you're talking about innovations which will, yes, have a product, but may, they may have a service attached to that product and they may be driven by a totally different business model to what the company had a few years before. Uh, and so in sort of writing the manual of the essentials, I tried also to bring it into this new world. Um, and uh, which, was a, which is a challenge in itself, but it was also a very fascinating challenge because there's lots of interesting examples of, of, of companies sort of blending the old, the new, or, or moving to the completely new. Professor David Midgley, uh, author of the Innovation Manual, thank you for joining us on INSEAD Knowledge. Thank you very much, Rob.